Hey everybody, Starfish here, and we had a little bonus episode that we wanted to share with you guys. Uh, we got some feedback. We get feedback from our listeners uh, often through comments or re- reviews, ratings, um, social media, and one of the comments that we got recently, we just wanted to talk about and address because we think that it's probably something that, um, I don't know, it's just a misunderstanding. It's a little bit of a, you know, we, j- we just want to talk af- to everybody about it. So let me just first read the comment and then we'll talk about it. So the comment is, first of all, we got a one star oh. <laughs> and the, the title is meh. meh. Okay. Meh. So it's from Apple Podcasts. This is somebody in Australia. Uh, Abby Caro is her name. I think it's a female. So many inaccuracies. I know they aren't private investigators or anything, but half of the stuff they are saying can just be read in the news. So why get them so wrong? So I would just like to start off by saying thank you for leaving a review. Thank you for listening to. Um, and we have a lot of listeners out of Australia because we've done a lot of Australia stories. Um, I think she was probably listening to Melissa Caddick. Uh, the the financier who <sighs> stole like I don't even know how much at this point I don't remember the millions yeah. of dollars she stole from people and then disappeared so it's a it's a story that continues on because she still has not been found so there's a little update <laughs> uh, almost a year later but um so the the story is probably I don't know six months you know old at this point. Um, and really, you know, the point of the podcast is not to like, we're not the news, you know, we're just collecting articles as they were at the time. So, um, we, we sort of talked about what our process was together to gather the information. I just want to share with you uh, a little bit of our process and then, and then we can just sort of free chat about it. So first of all, um, we do a lot of fact checking on our data. We, we want to make sure that we're getting the information right. And we do a lot of, we have a lot of processes to have two people look at it, you know, Um, so we actually have somebody working for us. His name is Joe. He's awesome. And he, uh, does a lot of the finding of the data of the information. And then, um, you know, Mary sort of, Mary Kachuri reads over it, checks it. Um, and both of us engage in looking for it and reading over it and vetting it a little bit before we, uh, actually go with the story because we want to make sure it's from a reliable place. So anyway, um, he said, this is what he does. Um, you know, he opens the link that we share with him. So we find the story, we find a link of a story and we share, it might be from who knows, you know, USA Today or something, people it's, the, you right. know, the original source isn't necessarily yeah. the most uh, reliable. And then, um, we do like a little, he does like a little Google search of all the, of the key phrases. This is what we would, this is what we would do too. You just search for it. You just see what's out there. And then you kind of, um, you know, he said he selects about five references from the results page, opens each in a new tab. Then he goes through all the references to catch reported facts. Uh, then he searches the key phrase on YouTube to find more about the story, watch some videos about it. And then he combines all the info uh, gathered into a real talk story. So um, I think, you know, he, he said, is there anything missing? <laughs> um First of all, I think it would be nice if we knew exactly what inaccuracy she was referring to. So, you know, um, if you leave us feedback, we love it. It's great. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me specifically what's wrong, and then we can talk more about it. But this one was kind of hard. It was just so many inaccuracies. Well, we aren't sure exactly what was inaccurate, but we feel like our process is pretty good. Um, and it's not perfect. And yet we're not we're not private. We're just friends who want to chat oh, yeah. about these crazy scams. You know, we're no. not even journalists yeah. or anything. We don't have any credentials to to do this. Really, we're just, you know, and, and, and honestly, you'll find two articles that report, let's just say a dollar amount, you know, let's say 50 million or 20 million or something like that. They have different reports because they're getting their information from different sources, too. They might be getting them from court documents or another news source or directly from the people who had it happen to them. I mean, there's a number of different ways that you can get this information, but um I think that 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 part is important for our listeners to know that we we do our very best to get as much information as we can. But, um, you know, it's hard to get facts right. I don't know if any of you are true crime people, but there is there's a million different ways to interpret like tons of murders out there go unsolved because all the facts and details are just very difficult to pin down. So. So that's what I wanted to say about it. What? um, Yeah. You you know, I mean, this is just like. 
you know, anything. And honestly, you know, the point of a podcast, uh, you know, for you, all of you out there that listen to a lot of them, you know, most of the time, you know, podcast stories are, are things that are already out there, you know, and all, all that podcasters are mm-hmm. doing is we're just taking those stories and, you know, adding a personal spin on it, you know, cause, uh, you know, but both me and Starfish, we have a lot of vast background of like a lot of different stuff. You know, we both have been in business before. Um, we both work in like h- higher up industries. Um, and it, so we have a lot of like life experience here and, and I have a lot of financial experience. So, um, you know, when we talk about these stories, you know, we're, we're just putting, we're just trying to gather as much information as, as we can out there to try to get, you know, the most accurate, truthful, you know, parts of this that we can. And sometimes we do miss stuff, you know, we are human beings. And, um, Mm -hmm. even on, you know, if you turn on the news, you know, I'm sure there's a ton of inaccuracies that you would see on a newscaster report for certain stories as well. You know, we just don't always get it right, unfortunately. And that's just across the board, I think in all different, uh, you know, uh, news industries. So, you know, we're just, we're just friends talking like, like Starfish said, and we're just trying to, you know, make people aware of some of the things that, you know, people are doing to people, you know, like our job is to try to prevent you from falling for a scam, you know, or to be more cautious about where you're putting your money. Um, because we do care about people and we don't want, you know, I've been scams. Uh, Starfish has been scammed. Everyone's pretty much been scammed. If you're alive, you get scammed somehow at some point in your life, you know, like yeah. <laughs> it just happens, unfortunately. And unfortunately with these stories, it's like some people get it worse than others. And, you know, all we can do yeah. is talk about it and, and, uh, you know, try to educate people about things and, and try to, you know, have our own unique spin. Like, you know, sometimes I'll give, little bits of financial advice here and there, but honestly, you know, it's just the two of us trying to get stories together to talk about that are interesting. And if, you know, some people don't have time to, to watch the news every day. I don't like watching the news personally. Um, so, yeah, Yeah. (laughs) so it's just, you know, it's just fun little, little stuff to talk about. If we put a smile on people's face, I'm, I'm happy with that. And, you know, that's really what we're about on this podcast. We're just trying to um, hopefully help people to be more cautious when you're you're trusting someone with your hard-earned cash. So. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, we're, we're curating these stories because of all the different ways in which people can scam you is pretty interesting. But also because... Uh, you know, there's Mary notice Mary Contrary. She notices all these patterns with all a, a lot of these scammers, and so we're hoping that you can see some of the patterns that we see. You know, I mean, I think one pattern we've definitely picked up on is don't invest your money with your friends and family. That was something I learned from yeah. Jessica Caddick <laughs> because you know you trust them implicitly, and you really shouldn't with your money. You never know what they're going to do with it. Um, I mean, we just had an episode about a nun who stole money. So you never know. It could be anybody just because they have an outward appearance of being in a position of authority or trust does not mean that they are trustworthy. So I think, you know, the things that we learn, we like, we like to share with you guys and, um, you know, it's not going to be for everybody, but, um, if there's any advice that you guys want to give us any specific details that, that we can work with. I think, um, you know, the one thing that's difficult about these, this type of review is that I don't know what to do with it. Um, you, you know, calling, saying that we're just being inaccurate is not helpful because I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Um, maybe we can address some of the facts. Maybe we can address uh, other things that, that are incorrect. And, and again, the goal isn't necessarily to be a, a perfect report of exactly what happened. Um, I mean, the dollar amounts I notice sometimes vary, uh, depending on which story you're reading. And you kind of wonder, why does that vary? Is it based on they get the dollar amount from this or that source? And so just kind of addressing that again, it's, it, it, it is frustrating because you want to know right. how much did they steal? How much, how much were they, were they swindled for? 
But really, the important part is that they did it, how they did it, (laughs) how did they scam people, and what kinds of things, if you're being scammed, can you watch out for? Like, I just had a conversation with a friend who said she had been scammed. And as I'm listening to her, I'm shaking my head saying, you're never going to get this money back. I know it. Just the way that our laws are designed, if you willingly give your money to somebody, uh, you, you shouldn't do that, basically. I mean, it's it's very difficult to give your mon- get your money back. The only time they can ever really do it is if they have specific laws on the books, if they broke a very specific type of law. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's not that many instances where people get the restitution, no. get the money back. It, it, like take Melissa Caddick. She spent it all. So they're going to take, she owes, she, she swindled, I think it was $23 million. She's only going to have to pay back $6 million. So they're just going to sell off all her property that she has. And that's all they get back. That's it. You're done. I'm sorry. There's no recourse for you. So we want to protect you from that. Yeah. Um, so sometimes the details aren't as necessarily important um, as much as it's sort of this collection of, of knowledge that we're gathering for you guys about how to avoid right, scams, yeah. you know, because <laughs> it's embarrassing to have be scammed, oh, yeah, you like, know, no, like people make fun of people that get scammed all the time, unfortunately, but it's, it sucks, right. you know, and I've, I've been totally scammed, you know, and like, and like you're saying starfish, I mean, yeah. the seller's playbook scam, like we only saw like $5,000 back from the 30 that they stole from everybody. So just think about that, Ugh, you know, like it's terrible. You got to be careful. Yeah. Really careful. Yeah. So if they can't even find the person sometimes who did it, or there's just so many ways that they can obviously, uh, you've seen it. You you know, if you've listened to even a handful of our episodes, you know that they could, that it's so easy for them to get out of paying you yeah. back. So, uh, well, we appreciate the feedback and we just wanted to, to address it and talk to people. And, um, you know, we get lots of feedback, so we'll, we'll probably do this again where we just share our thoughts about the feedback and hopefully we can get some um, feedback that's a little more spe- yeah. specific <laughs> so we can address it. Also, we've gotten some great feedback from some people saying that they love it and they love uh, listening to yes. us. So we love you too. And Definitely. thank you for yeah, listening. I, yep. And I was just going to say, I mean, oh, I love our ahead. fans. Um, I love that you guys love us. We love you too. And, you know, we're just here to hopefully help you out and, and put a smile on your face for the day. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for listening. And we'll keep sharing these little bonus stories of of, um, ways in which we kind of run our process and ways that we can make sure that we're, you know, get, you know, I love it when people give us information, they say, Hey, have you ever heard of this podcast? And I think we talk a lot about this, about how we wish we could do a whole uh, season sometimes. I mean, like the love has one call. That one could be a whole season in itself. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) Uh, Alex Jones, I could I could do a whole entire 10 year podcast on Alex yeah, Jones, yeah. you know, uh, a lot of the election ones, too. Those are just still yeah. going in court, right? Like, there's a lot of these stories that I we could do entire shows on. But the idea instead is just to give you a collection of stories. So so you can see patterns, you know, patterns are more important right. than very specific yeah. details. So yeah, yeah. Well, thanks again for listening, everybody. Right. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone, for listening to Real Talk. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast wherever you listen. We look forward to having you on our next one.